Okay, question number seven for June 2021. An ice cream shop sells ice cream cone C and milkshakes M. Each ice cream cone costs $1.50. Each milkshake costs $2. Donna has $19 to spend on ice cream cones and milkshakes. If she must buy five ice cream cones, which inequality could be used to determine the maximum number of milkshakes she can buy? So she has $19 that she can spend. So she can only spend up to $19. She can't spend $20. She can't spend $21. She can't spend $22. She can only spend up to $19. So whenever I'm going to spend up to $19, I'm going to have a less than or equal sign. So if I look at all these answer choices, choice one and choice three have the greater than or equal sign. So I can't have choice one or three. Now... We're going to use the answer choices to our advantage. We know that ice cream cones cost $1.50. So I'm going to have 1.50. And I know that milkshakes cost $2. Here's the thing. I don't know how many milkshakes I'm buying. I just know how many ice cream cones I have to buy. If I look, I have to buy five ice cream cones. And I know that ice cream cones cost $1.50. So I'm going to put my five with my $1.50. I'm going to add the variable m to milkshakes because I don't know how many milkshakes I'm buying. So if I look, my final answer is going to be 1.50 times 5 plus 2m less than or equal to 19. So choice 2.